Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing the album Closer to the Antenna by Trash Animals, an act that's part of the Pigeon Hat Collective. I'm hoping to do more of these in the future for uh, the Collective, so make sure you subscribe down there and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Self-described as a psychedelic concept album filtering consciousness through different lives and experience, this one promises to be eye-opening. Crack open the third eye, kiddos, because we're about to go tripping. I do cocaine! I do cocaine! I do cocaine! I do cocaine! But seriously, don't do drugs, kids. This album is pure concept art from start to finish. As a songwriter, this pleases the creativity section of my brain. If you'd like to stimulate my lobes yourself, my contact info is down below. I'd love to review your music, or even interview you. Now then, on to the review! Starting off eponymously, look it up kids. Closer to the Antenna opens things up with a spoken word style piece combining vocal tricks and evocative imagery with lyrics like could you help me find this station? Could you help me find my crayons? Can you help me find my spaceship? This here giraffe? A cat with hands? Can you help me find my blanket? Could you help me find this station? It's a great way to set the stage for what's coming in a manner that makes the listener sit up and pay attention. Song number two is Lucid Dreaming in Stereo, a song named that continues the theme set up by the first track, only this time there's music. Immediately reminiscent of music by Soul Asylum, with its vocal harmonies, upbeat rhythm, and acoustic guitar running throughout this track, also includes audio effects that complicate things in an interesting way. With lyrics like, would you please excuse me, I'm receiving a call, but my words just don't seem to reach him at all. One eye opens and the other eye shuts. He stands at the door as he babbles in tongues, so I run in to pick up the phone, but I must be hearing voices or having a stroke. Because the voice on the line is one that I know, and if I'm correct, then he has long since passed. It's obvious the band has influences from all over. Song number three is Eat and Run, a whimsical yet powerful little number that bounces between sparse but rocking guitar parts backing a neat story before the emo angst filled chorus comes crashing through to break us out of our comfortable reverie. See kids? College words do come in handy sometimes. As a songwriter, I especially enjoyed lyrics like, If you died right here, I'd be more than happy to eat what you leave behind. Don't be so shocked, we both know that I'm your parasite. It's somehow sweet and shocking at the same time, and I'm here for it. The fourth track on the album is Of Wires and Woe, moving us from the 90s alternative scene to music straight out of a video game before turning left onto folksy country lane and then kicking back into the rock and roll. Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? Say. Say. What? what? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. The wordsmithing continues here with lines like, he pulls ore from the bottoms of the rocks like he's taking off their socks, and it pools into molds that he's cast of plastic and glass. Because you know he's got to watch his favorite shows. And there ain't no signal here in the trees, so the satellites follow as he weeps. There's also a surprising use of an F-bomb that, four songs in, jars the listener, but makes sense in the context of the song. This won't be the last carefully curated curse word on this album, but this one stands out for being first. Taking a break from storytelling, Intermission takes a trip down instrumental lane. Play the music! Starting off laconic and sounding downright bluegrassy, we're treated to audio effects behind some impressive banjo playing before fading out, which leads us nicely into Whiskers. The sixth song on the album starts off rocking before settling into a tune reminiscent of Bare Naked Ladies by musically seesawing between different genres and speeds. Eventually, we find ourselves in spoken word territory, again with lyrics like, And close on their heels was Coyote Sky, sitting lotus atop an old panzer, a right mean bastard if you've ever seen one, and with him, a horde of the most ungodly creatures you've seen in your life, men in diesel engines and hauling soot-covered munitions, bringing another angle of storytelling to things. Track number seven is Drugstore, which fits in perfectly with the overall theme of this album. Expertly mixing banjo with music out of a demented Disneyland ride, the vocals here balance on a tightrope of being in tune and sliding off the rails. Then suddenly, bands like Primus and Clutch enter the arena. 
Things get twangy and psychobilly and thumping and limp biscuit all in one. The influences are so strong on this song, and it's awesome. Every show I do is poorly promoted, and if you like this, it's cause my little sister wrote it. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. The crazy storytelling continues with lines like, So as I was saying, I was making my way to the drugstore for a pack of Pall Malls and a scratcher, just minding my own goddamn business, when I spotted a flock of dopey-eyed pigeons sitting up on a telephone pole. And yeah, I know they're really just government drones sent here to keep tabs on me, sitting up there in their little cowboy hats, whispering to each other. Well, let them get a good look, because if the government thinks they can come take the cougar out of my backyard, they got another thing coming before kicking into a high-speed instrumental break. I think this one's going on my workout playlist. Oh, did I mention the sax solo? The song ends and blends right into song number eight, the consumption. We're back in instrumental land here, folks, and this time we're traded to a sonic symphony, blending the bayou with the junkyard. Well, there goes our happy ending. No, it's a fusion of jazz and funk. It's called junk. I honestly felt like I was on a log ride through the holler, but all the locals were robots. Another palate-cleansing song getting us ready for the next track, which is Voidless, a song that just had to be written under the influence of something. Don't do drugs, kids. Introducing a respectable impression of a sitar before jumping into something almost ska-like, the song eventually jumps into some grunge rock with lyrics like, Carrying on this fractal is instinctual and factual, but useless. The alcohol and ethanol are temporary chemical solutions, but the empty spaces find us in the places we stood but moments ago, stare into our faces and refuse to become anything at all. This song bounces around like so much of their work, but still makes sense and still feels powerful. And then there's track number 10, It's Not Enough. Instead of a proper song, this one's basically a skit designed at poking fun at band drama and the sparks that can fly in the recording studio. It's a great reset of our expectations before launching into... Hold on to your butts. Raising the Homunculus, the 11th and final track on the album. A lot of acts will choose to put a song here that sums up the rest of the album. Except... Nope! Trash Animals woke up and chose violence instead. Channeling some HP Lovecraft with lyrics like Raise him up with bone and wire, hands of glory, shake the choir, place his pieces on the altar. We'll wake him up and greet him with bad news as his shadow casts a groove, but he wasn't built to hold a tune, and falls out of key, with all the talking animals and flying things. This tune once again subverts expectations in a way that fits perfectly with their ethos, and I'm not mad about it. Combining the eclecticness of the 60s and 70s, the wordsmithing of Bob Dylan and Tom Waits, and the musical fearlessness and creativity of 90s alternative music and acid jazz, with the wall-to-wall -wall thematic storytelling of classic rock like Pink Floyd and The Who, Trash Animals have an amazing product here in Closer to the Antenna. Make sure you click the link below to get your own copy and uh, follow them online. That was a trip, and it was awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down below to get your own copy of Closer to the Antenna from Trash Animals. It's a great album, they're a great band, definitely follow them online, and if you get the chance to see them live, it's going to be amazing. In the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed or interviewed, hit me up down below, I've got links there. If you'd like to support the channel, I've got links down there as well. I've got room6.shop for merch, um, it's getting colder, I've got knit caps, I've got you know mugs, I've got uh, hoodies, all that stuff you need. Great presents for people. And it also helps the local scene. Also got Patreon, with um, some patron member only content and uh, I've got more so check it out please really appreciate you and uh, I guess yeah if you want to see more videos like this please click up here if you'd like to subscribe to the channel please click down there don't forget to ring the bell and it does make a difference remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on room six